You're watching EAC News. Thank you for joining us. There is a saying, when you aim high, you reach high. That's how Johnny Chern overcame his difficulties as an orphan boy dreaming to be a pilot and starting producing his own radio-controlled aircrafts. The airplane models being shown on his Facebook page, Comnit, which means idea in Khmer. The inventor is now looking for investors to expand his product and achieve markets overseas. EAC News had the opportunity to interview Johnny Chern and knowing more about his love for aircrafts. Johnny Chern is an entrepreneur with a strong vision and perseverance. He can produce 100 radio-controlled aircraft a month with the help of just one extra person. But opening a production business with technological features, such as a remote-controlled airplane, is a challenge that only a visionary is committed to overcome. Johnny shared his stories with EAC News, talking more about his long-time dream to be a pilot. Since I was small, I uh, really like uh, aircraft because I have a dream that uh, I want to become a pilot. So uh, from that point, I have a vision that someday I can be a pilot. But unfortunately, I am an orphan, so uh, I don't have ability to go to school, go to uh, a school of uh, aeronautical uh, pilot training. So uh, because I, st I live in orphanage, that's why I uh, try to uh, do something to improve myself and to study about airplane and to learn about airplane. I've been spending uh, my time for 15 years until I uh, know how to uh, making aircraft. Because uh, there was an Australian guy, he went to my uh, orphanage and he asked me about uh, uh, my dream. So I told him that uh, I love airplanes and I want to build an uh, airplane. And when he uh, uh, back to his country and he sent me uh, books about uh, making aircraft. And from that time, I learned how to make uh, aircraft. Uh, but it's very difficult because uh, the mathematics is very hard for me to solve the problems. Uh, also the physics. But uh, when I finished, I, I graduate uh, high school. And that, that time I uh, know how to uh, uh, make aircraft. But it's not success yet. Uh, because I need uh, some money for doing the research, for uh, uh, applying to a uh, real practical. Johnny used to have an investor and a team working with him, facilitating the production and test runs of even big aircrafts. However, COVID-19 pandemic affected the income and teamwork of Comnit. Now Johnny is focusing in the production of two kinds of airplane model. Uh, we have two types of uh, this aircraft. One is a throwable aircraft. It means that the plane that uh, fly without using a machine, with no remote, just throw, it could glide for uh, 45 meters. And that's a cheap uh, airplane for everyone can play. And uh, now we update our airplane into a uh, next uh, version that can uh, remote for 100 meter distance and also 100 meters uh, altitude. Uh, for selling, I think uh, it's not a big problem for us, but the problem is uh, production because uh, I need to uh, uh, make it into a production that could uh, produce it fast and uh, make it to become a good packaging and also uh, about to uh, find a marketplace into uh, overseas. The price range of the throwable aircrafts are between $5 and $15 depending on the model while the radio-controlled aircrafts are costing $30 or more. He hopes Comnit success in the future can be a proof that everyone is capable of achieving his dream if they fight for it. I wish that uh, I could uh, uh, make this uh, product into the market to not even though the uh, domestic market, but it goes to global market. And everyone can play this uh, airplane to inspire kid, uh, many kids that uh, 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 with this product that uh, will tell them that uh, with a dream, if they have a dream, they must uh, uh, fight for their dreams. So this airplane is not just to entertain, but it's also to uh, remind them about uh, my story. The COVID-19 pandemic has affected the travel industry with less airplanes flying into the kingdom. But now, with the country set to reopen and the economy slowly recovering, the expectation is that big airplanes and small airplanes like this one has a space in the Cambodian sky.